The start of school, unfortunately for those students, is right around the corner. Excitedly, let's have a positive yeah. outlook. That's right. Buying school <laughs> supplies and what to do for school lunches is certainly on your mind. Whether it's a healthy lunch for your kiddos or working uh, or for the working parent, we've got you covered today with the help of Chelsea Ray, a registered dietitian with Baptist Health. She's going to give us some great information. And on top of good ideas for lunches and stuff for kids, it's also always good to pack a lunch as an adult too, because then you know you're making That's healthy true. options and maybe not going out to fast food or something spending money as well so you can take advantage of that too if you're not yeah afraid. you know a lot of people may just skip lunch yeah that and that's not a good thing i'm yeah. guilty of skipping breakfast yeah but. i mean me too <laughs> from the station that's on your side this is channel 7 news good morning arkansas Welcome back, everybody. Well, the start of the school year is right around the corner, and buying school supplies and knowing what to do for school lunches is certainly on your mind. And whether it's a healthy lunch for your kiddos or for the working parent, of course, we've got you covered today with the help of Chelsea Ray, registered dietitian with Baptist Health. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Of course, morning. absolutely. Thank you so, for having me. Having a plan for lunches can be kind of challenging sometimes when you're running around with the kids, you're super busy, but you brought us a packed lunch that's healthy. So let's. For sure. Yeah, walk us through this. Okay, so this is a really simple lunch and um, not anything fancy but I used a sandwich using a whole wheat English muffin um, it's a good portion size and it's uh, full of fiber to keep us full and focused and um, we have some carrots some fruit strawberries and blueberries making the plate really co colorful and then we also have some Greek yogurt uh, this Greek yogurt can double as um, a dessert you can put your fruit in it put some Yum. granola or honey I use the plain non-fat um, just to cut back on some excess sugar and calories that aren't necessarily um, needed and then also you can use it as a dip for your carrots if you want to add oh, that's um, good too. yeah if you want to add like a little uh, ranch dipping powder mix it in a little bit and you can mix the carrots and then um, use it as a dip yeah I've heard of that people using plain Greek yogurt as a replacement for like sour cream or cream cheese mm -hmm. or something like that and this sandwich is really great because you can take it um, and especially in the mornings on the go you can uh, wrap it up in a paper towel and pop it in the microwave for a minute and it oh. keeps you from going through the drive-thru yeah and getting the cheese a little bit melty yep. on there that'd be yep. delicious exactly so with the plain yogurt is you know vanilla or different flavors that adds more sugar to it it's less healthy it can it can add more sugar if um, you're trying to watch your sugar specifically mm -hmm. for diabetics um, then this is kind of a go-to you can add some honey um, or some fruit granola something to make it a little sweeter um, and make the taste buds but taste buds better but you can also still use the flavored yogurts as well I know when uh, James started covering this shift doing Good Morning Arkansas a couple times a week he was going through that process of like oh I bought yogurt and mm -hmm. his wife was like that is filled with sugar. It can be. It yes. can be. That's why I stick to Greek yogurt. Um, it has a really good source of protein. Um, it tends to have less sugar and it's pretty flavorful. So is packing a healthy lunch like this, I mean, does it save you money? Does it cost more money? Does it save you time? It Walk does. That. Yes, this whole thing took me less than five minutes. You can prepare it in advance um, and so you're not rushing around the morning of. Um, and then it also saves you money because otherwise you're going to be sending your kid to school with money for them to buy something that's pizza or cookies mm -hmm. or something that's not necessarily healthy and is it going to keep them full um, and so especially in the mornings if you're running late the sandwich is a lifesaver and um, a time saver for sure yeah and this is something you could so easily pack the night before and just for have sure. it ready to grab definitely um, and the container is cool too because it's keeping everything separated yes, which is yes. awesome I like to use meal prep containers just because it keeps everything separated and um, it makes my portion sizes under control so that yeah. way I'm not adding a lot of excess and I see a lot of colors on the plate why is that something that's Important. Colors are very important. Uh, we would typically recommend eating the rainbow just because different colors provide uh, different nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that are essential to your body um, and keeps you at your best. So what about like the berry mixture here versus the carrots? What are we getting, what benefits are we getting out so, of this? So from the different berries, um, we have some reds and some blues, um, and so different vitamins, a lot of um, vitamin C going on, and then the carrots have a lot of beta carotene, good for your eyes, um, and so just overall good just nutrients. Especially important for kiddos for out sure. there. For sure. And you mentioned portion sizes, mm -hmm. something I very much struggle with because yes. I just, you know, I shovel my face full of food when I'm hungry, but then sometimes you're like, wow, I'm way too full and I ate too much. So yeah, what are your thanks. tips for that? So um, with portion sizes, I typically recommend uh, using the my plate method, which this is something similar. Um, half of our plate being fruits and vegetables, a quarter of it being some sort of protein, dairy, and then we have a quarter of it being some sort of grain. Mm -hmm. And then also using a smaller plate as opposed, uh, as opposed to a bigger plate because on the bigger plate we have bigger portion sizes and then we're taught to eat all of our food um, and clean our plate and so but with the smaller portion sizes or smaller plate it's smaller portions and automatically we eat less and then uh 
In our last minute here, what do you think is one of the biggest mistakes that parents make when packing lunches for their kids? I'd probably say one of the biggest mistakes is uh, thinking that dessert has to be a brownie or a cookie or mm -hmm. some sort of candy. Dessert can be fruit, it can be yogurt, granola, whatever. Um, it doesn't necessar necessarily have to be the traditional dessert idea. Yeah, you don't have to throw a candy bar in there or something. The, the yogurt is a great supplement exactly. for that. Exactly, exactly. Great. Well, any other tips you have for parents when it comes to packing lunches? My biggest tip would just be to keep it simple. You don't have to reinvent the wheel if you don't want to. Um, and so this is very simple, common grocery items. And uh, yeah. It's all cost effective too, which and is And it is. Great. It is. Keeps the cost down and the time down as well. Okay. So where can people find more information if they're interested with you guys at Baptist? For more information, I would go on um, to the Baptist Health website and uh, there is a nutrition tab um, on there in, in the search bar. Perfect. And we have that information up there on your screen for you right now. Thank you so much, Chelsea, for being here with us All today. Right, we thank appreciate you. you. Have a good day. Perfect information as we're heading into school right around the corner. Mm -hmm.